Hi, I'm Jenny, and welcome to this week's Top Tech News. First off, NASA asked the world's top aircraft engineers to solve the current problems in commercial aviation. How to fly cleaner, quieter, and on less fuel. Breakthrough number one, the box wing jet from Lockheed Martin. Its revolutionary looped wing design will allow it to fly further on less fuel. Then, if you thought you'd seen the last of the flight of the Concords, Lockheed strikes again with the Mach 1.6 supersonic green machine. Try saying that five times fast. This green machine would reduce nitrogen oxide pollution by a whopping 75%. Boeing enters the fray with the Sugar Volt and its hybrid propulsion system. From jet fuel to batteries and back again, oh yeah. These new modes of air transport won't be out till at least 2025. So until then, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the soon-to-be friendlier skies. Ever wonder what your dog is really thinking? Emory University researchers have developed a new methodology to scan the brains of alert and attentive dogs using harmless fMRI. By testing the dog's response to hand signals, the scientists hope to understand the dog-human relationship from the dog's perspective, and ultimately aim to answer questions like, do dogs have empathy? Do they know when their owners are happy or sad? How much language do they really understand? For you PETA members out there, the pups are unrestrained and the researchers are ensuring the safety and comfort of their four-legged friends. Tired of dealing with crutches after injuring your ankle? Sick of bruising your armpits while you hobble around like a leper? This July, everything could change with the help of a couple master's mechanical engineering students from Brigham Young University. They have developed FlexLeg, a completely hands-free mobility device that uses advances in athletic prosthetic technology to allow people with temporary lower leg injuries to have free use of their hands while they heal. Part cybernetic peg leg, this device looks so cool it actually makes me look forward to my next sprained ankle. Love zombies so much that you want to become one, just without the permanent putrefaction? Check out our app pick of the week, Zombie Booth from Motion Portrait. Compatible with iOS and Android, just take a picture, shake it up, and voila, you're zombified. Zombie Booth Lite is free, but for more terrifying zombie features, download Zombie Booth 3D for 99 cents. <laughs> this week from Think Geek, we have the eye necklace. It's an 18 inch chain with an aluminum pendant on the end that lights up. It is really, really cool. It comes with two batteries and it lasts up to 72 hours. So when it lights up, it blinks, but you also have the ability to fully customize it. The only thing is you kind of have to be really well versed in CAD and other programming languages to make it do your bidding. However, it's still a pretty pendant and it comes to you for $74.99. Fan of playing games on your smartphone but miss the feel of the old school arcade? Bring that back with New Potatoes Pinball Magic. It's this neat little plastic case that you actually slip your iPhone into and then you load up the free app and then you have your pinball game. Uh, it's genuinely addictive. It's lots of fun. The buttons interact really, really well. Um, so there's nice motion control. The only thing though is this great little blinky box uh, is $39.99, which I'd kind of rather go ahead and just get a new game for my Xbox. Um, but this is really addictive and I could play this for probably hours at a time. So I'd recommend it. I just wouldn't necessarily pay that much for it. That's it for this week. Be sure to tune in next week for all the tech you need to know.